Hello all you beer lovers and uh, I'm back out in my cigar garden and uh, today I've, uh, before we do our little taste evaluation I've got a Quandrum. Really nice star and a really good smoke. I do uh, enjoy these a lot. It's uh, inexpensive but uh, it's a nice backyard cigar. Very, very friendly to most people too as well. Well, it's uh, anniversary time for uh, Shorts Brewing Company. And uh, if you're, uh, you know, you're Roman, it's their 18th anniversary ale. And it is just, you know, it seems like yesterday uh, when Shorts opened up, up there in Bel Air. Now they've got that large facility that they do uh, the majority of their canning and all that stuff in um, Elk Rapids, Michigan. And this is their anniversary ale. I've not had, had a chance to try this. We're going to evaluate it. We've got our, our five bottle caps in uh, separate glass. And uh, so we'll give it an evaluation. Now, what makes this beer very, very unique is you've heard of the term barley wine. All right. So barley wines are high alcohol uh, brews. Well, this is a wheat wine. So dominantly um, the wheat is the, the main uh, ingredient in it. And they were able to get it up to 9%. So barley wines, let's say the high alcohols are anywhere from seven to about 12 you can get a little higher things of that sort um and i'm gonna read the can here for you so let's give you a good close-up of, of the can all right so our uh, 18th anniversary ale uh, a wheat wine ale brewed with peppercorn blood oranges and orange zest all right and uh you know good old shorts let's get you the this this way too this is just a I, I look forward to giving this a try um i think this is going to be a very unique i'm not i have never had what is con, considered to be a wheat wine so uh um let's pop the top see what we get i've got a, a nice little glass here uh uh, from oregon um, it's uh, from lincoln city oregon so this is the glass we're going to be drinking out of today Let's get this out. Ooh, look at that gold and color that we're getting here. Nice little head pouring on top. It's coming out a little brown, a little golden, and a, the a hint of orange um, in the glass itself. Let's see if we can get a little more in there. Hint of orange. Got too much of a head on it. I'm doing something. So there, there's that. Now, I mean, if you can see it out here in the sun, um, it is a dominant orange with a little bit of brown. Orange is the uh, is what I'm getting uh, on the smell. I love the head; it's nice and creamy, um, and a little big. And that's that's the pourer's problem. So that's that's you know my issue there. Let's take it to our lips and see what we get. There's the sweetness from the orange. Now. I'm getting the uh, orange zest. I'm getting the the orange zest is the the dominant flavor, um, and so the wheat is there. Um, the alcohol, obviously at nine percent, is way up in the top of my mouth, um, way up there, and that's very my my mouth is completely dried out now uh, from the alcohol. Well, cheers. Hope you have a beer. Shorts, 18th anniversary ale, good cold in color, very nice. I like the alcohol content. Obviously, it's something you're, you know, you've got to watch how many of these drink. The I'm uh, really getting a, a good taste of the orange. Now, it says it's uh, brewed with peppercorn. I'm not getting a peppery 
uh, might be my taste buds today. Um, but it's a really, really nice, nice beer. So on the bottle caps, what would I rate the 18th anniversary ale by Shorts Brewing Company up there? Two, three, four. I definitely got to give it a five. Joe Shorts and the guys up there are doing a fantastic job. We all know that. It's nice to have them in northern Michigan to uh, enjoy a good quality beer. They've got a great anniversary. Al. Happy birthday to everyone up there in Shorts Brewing Company. So track this one down. It's a limited edition. Uh, who knows that even by the time this video is up and running and you go to the store, they may be out of it. So, hey, if you're going to have a beer, have a good one.